Jacking Systems Hydraulic Jacking Systems Augusta MSC Hydraulic Jacking Systems are of a positive engagement type, using double-acting hydraulic cylinders. The systems, based on the pin-in-the-hole principle, operate on smooth circular legs which minimize wave, wind and current forces both in elevated, transit and installation conditions with their beneficial hydrodynamic and aerodynamic characteristics. The circular leg guides in the Hull and Jack House ensure proper guidance of the legs with hardly any wear. For protection against mechanical damage and environmental hazards the jacking system is enclosed inside a jack house. The robust single acting, step by step, systems are used for straightforward applications. Standard operations whereby lifting speed is not a number one priority but reliability and low cost, is. The system design is arranged such that in case of a defect the jacking operations can be continued at reduced speed. The Gusto MSC hydraulic jacking systems offer the following characteristics. Operational, fast lifting capability, intelligent redundancy, robust, hardly anywhere, automation, easy and low maintenance. The picture on this page shows a typical control panel of a hydraulic cylinder jacking system with working and holding pins. With the four levers one can operate the four legs individually. The levers have seven positions to switch the PLC's operated jacking system. This picture shows us three complete hydraulic cylinder jacking systems. Each unit has a set of three holding pins on the top of the unit. And three working pins at the bottom side of the unit which are fixed under an angle of 120 degrees. Each unit contains six hydraulic cylinders to do deliver the jacking stroke. On the top of each cylinder you see two threaded ends. This image shows us the inner side of one set of cylinders of a hydraulic cylinder jacking unit. A set of rubber block pads. And a set of holding pins and a couple of hydraulic cylinders to jack the rig. A complete hydraulic cylinder jacking unit hooked up in the crane, ready to be installed on a jack up barge. The following image, number 1, is showing us holding pins disengaged. 2 and 2A, are showing us the working pins are engaged. These pins move the hull either up or down whilst skidding through the holding pins frame. The next slide will show us a short animation, how all the cylinders are jacking the hull up and stop while a leg's cylinder's stroke needs to be recycled. Six of these 30 cm diameter cylinder rods are moving the work pins at each leg. Every time a leg has reached the end of the cylinder strokes, the working pins must be recycled to the fully retracted position. All the other legs stop automatically and have to wait till this cycle is completed. Once the recycle is completed, the other legs automatically continue jacking after reactivating the particular recycled leg again. This event is repeating every time another leg is at the end of its stroke. Back on the bespoken earlier. Jacking with hydraulic cylinders and hydraulic working pins. This method of jacking was modified and is still very popular. The most modern jack-up barges for offshore renewables and construction works have this system in use, it is cheaper and less maintenance. The next animation makes this visible, how this is done nowadays.
pneumatic type jacking system. Delong D66 jobs are mainly used in low depth of water. These are the best solution when it is necessary to lift heavy loads quickly and efficiently. Jack up platforms Delong D66 use a mix of mechanical and elastomaneumatic jacks. Jacking systems are made of two main parts having the shape of two rings lying one upon the other. Between those two rings are set pneumatic cylinders for simple action lifting and two others for attraction and double action lifting. The inside of each ring is equipped with rubber inflatable jacks, gripper tubes. The diameter of the pneumatic grippers is similar to that of the piles along which they are expected to move. Once they are pressurized they energetically press against the piles. Jacking System Characteristics for Jack Up Barge In order to obtain a strong and reliable squeeze, jacking system for platforms to long D66 is composed of two elements. A gripper tube, air jack, which is an inflatable Doric cushion in rubber and a gripper slug which is a ring in rubber. The nest slide is showing us an image of the pneumatic gripper type jacking system. This image shows us the pneumatic gripper surrounding a leg. On the left hand side. 1. The inflated cushion and 2. The gripper slug ring which is gripping the leg. On the right hand side, we see the same system but here it is in the disengaged mode. Catch a jacking system. Using almost a similar lifting sequence as the gusto system with pins. The solid rectangular section legs by inserting a horizontal yoke or catcher in a castellated rack protruding from opposite sides of the leg. See the pictures below, the working rack with the yokes and hydraulic cylinders. On the next slide the solid rectangular section legs with castellated racks. Rack and pinion jacking systems. These are probably the most common systems used at jack up rigs. Most of these jacking systems are equipped with six gearboxes and motors on a single cord. Most rigs have three legs, others have four legs and some even have more legs. The jacking systems vary it from hydraulic, electric to full electric, electronic. Basically these systems can be divided into two subgroups. 1. The older conventional types with the heavier and stronger leg bracings without support of rack chocks. 2. The newer generation with rack phase difference, RPD, sensitive legs. Lighter legs brissings and with rack fixation system as support during rig moves and operational mode. The next slide will show us some of the jacking systems. Marathon Latourn 82C design. Latourn, Vicksburg, Mississippi, USA. The design has three square legs instead of the most common triangular. It is a very strong conventional. Jacking system, without track chocks. The control console shown at the picture. In the middle of the control panel you see the th This picture is showing us a couple of the robust Marathon, Latourn, 82C design. Electrical jacking motors and gearbox transmission wheel. The cords are jacked inside the jacking houses, the rack teeth are located on the outer sides of the cords as you will see on the next picture.
variable speed rack and pinion jacking system. This is a much more modern system as the Litern we've shown at the other slides. The system is RPD sensitive, the legs are more vulnerable at the bracings and has a rack fixation system to transfer the load from the pinions to the hull. Jacking Units Each jacking unit consists of a special design seven teeth pinion driven by an electric motor through an input and planetary gearbox. In general four to eight jacking units engage with the rack of the jack up leg. The jacking units can be mounted in a floating frame or can be mounted directly into the fixed jacking structure depending on the jack up design. Variable speed drive. The electric motors of the rack and pinion systems are driven by individual variable speed drives, VSDs. This arrangement allows for stepless speed control between zero and maximum speed. The system automatically distributes the loads equally over the drive units and retaking can be performed automatically by the VSD control. Jacking Velocities Maximum jacking velocities vary from 0.3 meters per minute to 1.2 meters slash minute for platform handling. For leg handling, the speed can be increased by typically 50%. This picture shows us a complete jacking motor and gearbox of the VSD jacking system. On the left hand side. The pinion with seven teeth. The electric motor with fail safe brake. And on the right hand side the three stage planetary gearbox with three stage spare gear. The Siemens Central Control Desk, CCD, for the VSD jacking system. Compared to the conventional jacking control panels this is a computer and programmable logic controller, PLC, state of the art piece of work. Two screens connected to the computer can pop up anything you want to know regarding the status of the jacking system. A set of four levers to jack the legs, either individually or all simultaneous. An inclination meter, water level or degrees, alarm reset accept and rest buttons. Buttons to set the operations mode and a button for high speed jacking. The triangular legs of the MSC Gusto. Jacking system. Teeth on each side of a cord which are controlled. By the jacking units, three on each side of the cords. The MSC Gusto Leg Fixation System. Also called Rack Chock. Each of the cords is equipped with one of these. The fixation systems must be engaged to the cords to transfer the loads on the pinions to the rack chock. So that the hull is directly connected to the cords. The following video will show us how the rack chocks are manually engaged.
ABB's Jacking Control System, JCS, is an advanced VFD control system, which consists of variable speed drives and controls. The key advantages of a VFD driven jacking system include controlled startup operations and accurate and precise speed control, resulting in improved efficiency. It optimizes the power consumption under various working conditions, and enhances operational and system reliability. ABB's jacking system is fully integrated with the electric power and automation systems on the high-performance 800 XA automation platform. Powerful inter-systems connectivity and advanced reporting functionality allow operation in a smarter, safer and more efficient way. ABB Jacking Control System ABB's jacking control system is based on advanced 800 XA control platform, which provides the operators with the information needed for jacking control and system maintenance. Jacking control system images we will see on the next slide. Pacific Orca Offshore Installation Slash Maintenance Slash Repair Vessel at the Picture The six-leg jack up Pacific Orca is equipped with the ABB JCS jacking system. Dimensions, 161.3 meters dot length and 49.03 meters. Wide. Gross tonnage, 24,568 ton. Baker Marine BMPL J800 Jacking System Jacking speed 1 foot per minute, driven by only 4 motors per cord. Below the pictures of the control panel and a jacking unit with the 4 motors and gearboxes. Latour and slant leg jacking system. Basically, the jacking system operates the same as the Latour and jacking system described in the other slides. The main difference here is that it's possible to slant each particular leg into an angle to the seabed. Some pictures of the slant leg jacking system showing the slant system. On both pictures you see the slant system angle rack and pinions which can slant the legs and jacking system into an angle to the seabed. The end of the chapter Jacking Systems Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass, Worldwide Online, and On-Site Training Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay in touch and watch new videos for free.
Watch your RPDs. Lesson number 2 of 4. Rack phase difference. Maximum allowable RPD, and alarms. Content of lesson number 2 of 4. RPD limits of rig trainer 1. RPD alarm settings of rig trainer 1. How to jack within the RPD limits. Zero list and zero trim, to avoid RPD. Stomping, to avoid RPD. Reaming, to avoid RPD. Before we start with the lesson, disclaimer. The operations manual of your rig is telling you exactly what is the allowable RPD during jacking operations. You must jack your rig always within the allowable safe limits, this to avoid leg damage or total loss of the rig. The illustrations and the numbers given during the course are only for learning purposes. These numbers will always variate on each rig and each operation. Therefore you must study and understand your rig's operational manual before any jacking operation can take place. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. The RPD limits of Rig Trainer 1. At Rig Trainer 1. Indication of a green light on the jacking console is telling us, that we are jacking with, an RPD lower than 35 mm. This is considered to be safe, far within the RPD limits. At Rig Trainer 1. Indication of a yellow-orange light on the jacking console is telling us that we are jacking, with an RPD lower than 47 mm. This is still considered safe, but not preferable. At Rig Trainer 1. Indication of a red light on the jacking console is telling us that we are jacking, with a maximum RPD of 95 mm. This is considered not safe, and need to be avoided at all times. The jacking system, will block all jacking operations on that particular leg. Indication of a red light at the bow leg will only block the bow leg to jack. However, it is possible to manage this RPD failure with the other legs, as long as these legs are still within the green or yellow-orange limitations, lower than 95 mm. To avoid RPD whilst jacking legs down and touching the seabed, Make sure to always try to ballast the rig, as close as possible to zero trim and zero list. This is considered to be very good practice to avoid high RPDs at the very beginning of the operations. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Rig Trainer 1. Has a possibility to jack each cord local to adjust RPDs. This is called. Single cord jacking. To jack a single cord. A strict procedure need to be followed. In lesson number one of four, 
we learned how to calculate the RPDs. RPD. The RPD math. Is RPV measured? A chord equals 40 millimeters. B chord equals 30 millimeters. And C. Chord equals 25 millimeters. RPD is the highest chord minus the lowest chord. This is face AC. 40 millimeters. Minus 25 millimeters. Equals 15 millimeters. This means that RPD occurs between the A and C chords face. 40 millimeters minus 25 millimeters equals 15 millimeters. And secondly, between the A and B chords face respectively 40 millimeters minus 30 millimeters equals 10 millimeters. Conclusion Whichever two chords measure, the greatest RPV values between them. Giving us the rack phase difference for that particular leg. This is how we log it on an DPD sheet. RPVA. Chord. RPVB. Chord. RPVC. Chord. Subtract the highest minus the lowest. The result is RPD1. Pause the video, after listening to the question please. Question. What is the color of the RPD indicator light, in case we have RPDs as shown on the sheet, red, yellow, orange or green? Consider your answer and start the video again please. The correct answer is. We are jacking with an RPD lower than 35 millimeters. The color must be green. Pause the video after listening to the question please. Question. Is it safe to proceed jacking having RPDs as shown on the sheet? Yes or no? The correct answer is. We are jacking with an RPD lower than 35 millimeters. The color is green. This is a very good RPD, to proceed operations. Therefore, yes. Pause the video after listening to the question please. Question. High RPD occurs at the bow leg. You want to solve this with single cord jacking. Is this the correct manner to do it? Yes or no? The correct answer is. Single core jacking is allowed only when a strict procedure is followed, additional info is required to proceed. Therefore the answer is, no. RPV slash RPD measurement sheet. Also available as auto calculating Excel sheet at your course library. If you are not engaged in our courses but want to have the sheet, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get it for free, just drop us a mail. Rig move and jacking operations masterclass.
tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Nautical Institute, recognized training certificate, after successful completion, of rigged move and jacking operations master class. This was a complimentary lesson. Part of Lesson 2 of 4 and, part of the complete rig move and jacking operations master class. To proceed and learn all about RPD management and get certified. Kindly contact us at the below email address please. Thank you very much. For your interest in our courses. And, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to make more free lessons possible. Subscribe, like, share, to our YouTube channel, to stay tuned with training and, the hottest job openings in the industry. Watch your RPDs, lesson number 3 of 4. SPUD can direction vectors. Caused by RPD. And how to cope with it. Content of lesson number 3 of 4. SPUD can direction vector. What is a SPUD can direction vector? How to calculate a SPUD can direction vector? How to cope with spud can direction vectors. The learning outcomes. After this complete lesson you will be able to identify a spud can direction. Interpolate the vector direction of the spud cans. Combine the spud can direction vectors with the programmed RPD alarms. File a RPD sheet with spud can direction vectors. Jack with high RPDs. Cope and resolve RPD failures. Before we start with the lesson, disclaimer, the operations manual of your rig is telling you exactly what is the allowable RPD during jacking operations. You must jack your rig always within the allowable safe limits, this to avoid leg damage or total loss of the rig. The illustrations and the numbers given during the course are only for learning purposes. These numbers will always variate on each rig and each operation. Therefore you must study and understand your rig's operational manual before any jacking operation can take place. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Let's start with lesson number 3 of 4. Spud can direction vector. What is a spud can direction vector? A spud can direction vector is caused by RPD. In case RPD occurs at a particular leg, the reactions at the cords connected to the spud can are not equally any longer. These different reactions force a spud can in a certain direction comparative to cord A. This direction is called the spud can direction vector. Below we see the three legs of a jack-up barge. All three legs have a different spud can direction vector, as you can see. The red colored arrow on each leg is pointing in a different direction. How to find the angle of the spud can direction, comparatively to the A chord? We project a leg on a protractor, similar to a nautical compass. We read the angle, of the spud can direction vector, clockwise, 
and in degrees. As we can see now, the Spodkin direction vector of the bow leg is 202 degrees. Question. What are the Spudkin direction vectors of the starboard and port legs? The correct answer is Port leg 265 degrees and starboard leg 43 degrees. Rig move and jacking operations masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Question. What is a Spudkin direction vector? Answer. A spudkin direction vector is the direction, in degrees, which the spudkin, comparatively to the A chord, is forced to move to. Question. Why does a spudkin direction vector occur? Answer. A spudkin direction vector is caused by RPD. There are different reactions at the leg cords comparatively. We have learned how to interpolate the angle of the spudkin direction vector. We can add the RPDs and alarm colors to the vectors. Bow leg. Vector is green, smaller than 35 mm RPD. Starboard leg. Vector is red, RPD is 95 mm. Unable to jack, this leg is blocked by the jacking system. Port leg. Vector is yellow, smaller than 47 mm RPD. Question. Are we able to jack the rig? Yes or no? And motivate your answer please. The correct answer is, yes, we can jack the rig. We can jack the rig only, with the bow and port legs, this due to the blockage of the starboard leg, with a red RPD alarm. Starboard leg cannot be jacked. Let's make a new calculation from scratch starting with RPDs of all the legs. Rig move and jacking operations masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK.
RPD. The RPD math. Is RPV measured? A chord equals 40 millimeters. B chord equals 30 millimeters. And C. Chord equals 25 millimeters. RPD is the highest chord minus the lowest chord. This is face AC. 40 millimeters. Minus 25 millimeters. Equals 15 millimeters. This means that RPD occurs between the A and C chords face. 40 mm minus 25 mm equals 15 mm. And secondly, between the A and B chords face respectively 40 mm minus 30 mm equals 10 mm. Conclusion Whichever two chords measure, the greatest are PV values between them. Giving us the rack phase difference for that particular leg. RPV, RPD sheet, filled for the bow leg. We have filled the complete sheet with all RPVs, and found the RPDs. Only the highest RPDs is the most important now. Bow or, forward leg, is 15 mm and green. Both aft legs are, yellow orange, respectively, 37 mm and 62 mm. Now we can add the spudkin direction vectors. How do we know, and calculate, the direction in degrees, of the spud cans? RPV, RPD, measurement sheet. Also available as automatically, calculating, Excel sheet at your course library. If you are not engaged in our courses, but want to have the sheet, Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, and get it for free, just drop us an email. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Nautical Institute, recognized training certificate. After successful completion of rig move and jacking operations master class, this was a complementary part of lesson three of four and part of the complete rig move and jacking operations master class. To proceed and learn all about RPD vectors and cope and manage these failures properly and be awarded with an officially recognized certificate, kindly contact us at the below email address, please. Thank you very much for your interest in our courses. And, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to make more free lessons possible. Subscribe, like, share, to our YouTube channel, to stay tuned with training and, the hottest job openings in the industry.
Watch your RPDs. Lesson number 4 of 4. Simulator training. RPV RPDs, and SPUD can direction vectors. How to cope with it. And how to manage RPD failures. Live simulated training. On our state-of-the-art jacking simulator. And. Also live deployable online. Content Lesson 4 of 4 Live Simulated Training Live Simulation, Cope and Manage RPDs Live Simulation, SPUD can Direction Vectors Live Simulation, and Report and Log Writing Awareness and Risk of RPD Failures Learning Outcomes After this complete lesson, at the simulator you will be able to Identify a spud kin direction and keep it within limitations. Interpolate, the spud kin vector direction quickly, and cope with it by jacking the barge properly. Log and report writing, RPD sheet, complete with spud kin direction vectors, to find counter action to be taken. Jacking, with high RPDs. Cope and resolve, RPD failures. Before we start with the lesson, disclaimer, the operations manual of your rig is telling you exactly what is the allowable RPD during jacking operations. You must jack your rig always within the allowable safe limits, this to avoid leg damage or total loss of the rig. The illustrations and the numbers given during the course are only for learning purposes. These numbers will always variate on each rig and each operation. Therefore you must study and understand your rig's operational manual before any jacking operation can take place. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. The state-of-the-art, jacking console, touch screen, fully real-time, deployable through the internet, on your own screen, as real as it can get. The jacking console settings of Rig Trainer 1 The RPD limits of Rig Trainer 1 at Rig Trainer 1. Indication of a green light on the jacking console is telling us that we are jacking with an RPD lower than 35 mm. This is considered to be safe, far within the RPD limits. At Rig Trainer 1. Indication of a yellow orange light on the jacking console is telling us that we are jacking with an RPD lower than 47 mm. This is still considered safe, but not preferable. At Rig Trainer 1. Indication of a red light on the jacking console is telling us that we are jacking, with a maximum RPD of 95 mm. This is considered not safe, and need to be avoided at all times. The jacking system, will block all jacking operations on that particular leg. Indication of a red light at the bow leg will only block the bow leg to jack. However, it is possible to manage this RPD failure with the other legs as long as these legs are still within the green or yellow orange limitations lower than 95 millimeters. To avoid RPD whilst jacking legs down, and touching the seabed, make sure to always try to ballast the rig, as close as possible to zero trim and zero list. This is considered to be very good practice to avoid high RPDs at the very beginning of the operations. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass 
tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. RPD The RPD math Is RPV measured? A chord equals 40 mm B chord equals 30 mm And C Chord equals 25 mm RPD is the highest chord minus the lowest chord This is face AC 40 mm Minus 25 mm Equals 15 mm this means that RPD occurs between the A and C chords face. 40 mm minus 25 mm equals 15 mm. And secondly, between the A and B chords face respectively 40 mm minus 30 mm equals 10 mm. Conclusion Whichever two chords measure, the greatest RPV values between them giving us the rack phase difference for that particular leg. The spud can direction vectors we interpolate, clockwise as on a nautical compass. Bow or, forward leg, 202 degrees. Starboard leg, 43 degrees. Port leg, 265 degrees. A complete filled, RPD sheet, with spud can direction vectors, and magnitude colors. RPV, RPD, measurement sheet. Also available as automatically, calculating, Excel sheet at your course library. If you are not engaged in our courses, but want to have the sheet, Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, and get it for free, just drop us an email. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Nautical Institute, recognized training certificate. After successful completion of Rig Move and Jacking Operations Master Class, this was a complementary part of Lesson 3 of 4, and part of the complete Rig Move and Jacking Operations Master Class. To proceed and learn all about RPD vectors and cope and manage these failures properly, and be awarded with an officially recognized certificate, kindly contact us at the below email address, please. Thank you very much for your interest in our courses. And, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to make more free lessons possible. Subscribe, like, share, to our YouTube channel, to stay tuned with training and, the hottest job openings in the industry.